Seven Star Superior is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we'll cover all of the raid details as well as the best Pokemon to solo this in your game. Okay, so the event should be live now. And check out a map to see where it is. So what has Seven Star Superior got in mind for us? Okay, no Intimidator, so we can't check straight away if it's got Contrary. As we see, a Sweet Scent. I wasn't expecting that. That's going to lower our evasiveness. So I guess if it's got Leaf Storm, it's going to hit for 100% accuracy. We're going to see a Shield turn zero. No, Shield. Okay, that's good. We can skill swap then. So the seven star Superior going to run for its first time out as of recording this video from September the 20th until the 22nd. Returning for its second time out from September the 27th until the 29th. Will be level 100, has its hidden ability contrary. And the moves it does have are going to be Leaf Storm, Gastro Acid, Dragon Pulse, Iron Tail, Sweet Scent, Breaking Swipe, and then Glare. Mightiest Mark, of course, it has a Grass Terror Typing, can never be shiny, Modest Nature, and can only be caught once per save file. The raid interactions on 75% of its HP or timer remaining. The shield is activated. It will start the raid by using Sweet Scent, so that's dropping the evasiveness on our side of the field, making the moves like Leaf Storm and Iron Tail, those lower accuracy moves hit for 100%, essentially. Uh, it will reset our stats at 85% of the timer remaining, and then use Breaking Swipe on 84%. So straight after that, we'll use Breaking Swipe. It will reduce our Terra Orb charge in 75% of the time remaining, and then it will reset its stat drops on 60% of its HP remaining. Uh, just after the shield goes up and then we'll guarantee to be using glare on 40 percent of course we're going to get the regular item drops including those tasty five mixed herba mystica that all have a three percent chance to drop so the build that we're featuring in today's video is going to be galarian slow king it's going to make this raid very easy so the terror type is poison held item is shell bell so we have a line of recovery through the raid just make sure as well that it is level 100 and also hyper trained. The moveset is going to be Skill Swap, Calm Mind, Acid Spray and Sludge Wave. The ability here probably more optimal to go Regenerator in this raid but Curious Medicine is fine also with an EV spread of 252 EVs in HP and Special Attack. The remaining EVs in Special Defense and a Modest Nature. The EV equivalent in vitamins will be on the screen now so you can build this exactly as it's shown here in the video and it'll also be down in the description below so seven star superior here we go turn zero or turn one it's gonna use sweet scent that is gonna be something we've not seen before that's gonna boost the or drop our evasiveness on our side of the field so meaning that things like leaf storm that have lower accuracy are gonna hit 100% of the time but that's fine because we are pop poison type we have that resistance turn one we lock in with the skill swap we want to get rid of that contrary ability as soon as possible dragon pulse coming out and we do get that bonus defense raid boost here so we get the contrary ability and superior gets regenerated so that's not going to play any effect in this raid but it's not going to be able to utilize leaf storm anymore to get those special attack boosts to make it very powerful of course if you've got any partnering Pokemon that have any status conditions in this raid it's going to be really useful turn two we lock in with an acid spray now the contrary is gone we can lower that special defense on the superior and we're chasing down our terrestrialization counter as well at the same time so lowering that special defense by two stages every time we use it and the nice thing is about the iron tail if the superior goes for iron tail and it does get the defense drop with our contrary ability now intact We'll actually get a defense boost which is really useful for just kind of getting this initial setup but we're continuing with the acid sprays going for that it's the third turn and the fourth turn we're going for another acid spray this is our third and final one that we'll use in this initial setup taking the superior's special defense down to minus six and as a bonus we get another iron tail defense boost so that's quite nice but uh, we're ready to terrestrialize this next turn we're just going to lock in with a sludge wave because very soon, the superior will nullify stats and abilities on our side of the field, which is fine because we haven't boosted anything. We haven't really taken advantage of the contrary ability here. And normally it would go for a break and swipe there, which will lower our attack stat by one stage. But obviously paralyzed here means that it didn't get the attack off. But it doesn't really matter which way you look at it in this situation. We're not taking advantage of contrary. It's not going to be something that us losing or having our stats reset at this point us in any way so this is why i think the glaring slot king such a good raid build 
We terrestrialize, of course, and then we lock in with that sludge wave. Of course, because our ability is nullified this turn, the uh, Iron Tail does get the defense drop on us. So, but we do a nice chunk of damage and we recover a lot of health as well, which is nice. An Intimidate Partner is going to be really useful. Obviously, not that first turn where it gives the superior a boost to plus one. But after that, when it cycles in on and out of the field, going to reduce that attack stat right down so going to make it very optimal to have an intimidate partnering pokemon on our side of the field as well so we are going to just check the stats of everything and we do see it's still some of our terror orb as well that will happen throughout the raid and we are just going to see that it has reset its stats so we can just go for those acid sprays again after it nullifies those stat uh resets on its side of the field it's 60 percent of its health remaining that's when you will need to go for the acid sprays again just get three of those off and you'll be able to lower that special defense once again you want to get it down to minus six and then you're going to be able to start closing out this raid very very quickly with the galarian slocking so you can go for the calm mind one of the things i do like about this build is as well at, at some stage throughout the the raid the superior could lock in with gastro acid now that will nullify our ability the contrary ability and then that allows us to go for calm mind so if you want to go for a calm mind after it's used gastro acid in certain situations then it does free you up to utilize that attacking option as well but not always necessary i don't think you need to get so greedy because i think the three acid sprays plus the terrestrialization is probably enough in most situations for you just to kind of run through this raid pretty quickly anyway and we've still got that contrary ability active hasn't used the gastro acid yet but like I said, I've run through it a few times before where the gastro acid has been a thing and we do lose those defense boosts. But if you get the defense boost early on uh, before gastro acid's used, then that is a big plus. It is going to use glare at some point and that's into any random Pokemon on our side of the field. This time into the glare and slocking, not the best for us, but still not anything we need to really worry about at this stage. And then because we've got that third and final second round of acid sprays off we can now lock in with the sludge wave and just make sure that we're kind of getting some health back doing some good damage at the same time and if we want to we can uh, lock in with a calm mind as well one calm mind boost here will probably put us to the point where another sludge wave will be able to pick up the knockout but i mean two sludge waves going to do the same so it is entirely up to yourself it's pretty straightforward this raid though there is a few key turns i guess that you just need to get that skill swap off turn one then spam acid spray and then kind of go from there really uh, and you're going to have an easy time against superior the raid time at about 50 percent uh just below that by the time we finish it up and it, it is going to be as easy as that i do think glarian sloking obviously not available in the base games is going to be one of the best options if you've got it uh, available to you of course um but there's the gastro acid coming out nullifying our ability here but a bit too late in the raid for it as we lock in with that final sludge wave and uh, we are paralyzed of course we are to lock up the raid it would have been nice just to finish it up there it is uh we the, the paralysis does affect us there but it's not always onto our pokemon it can be onto one of the four random targets on our side of the field so not always something that you're going to be affected by but still even if you are slowed down a bit just below 50% time of the raid timer and it's as easy as that to take down this superior also let me know down in the comments section what pokeball you caught your mightiest mock superior and of course i'm keeping track with mine and sticking with the beast balls so that's what i've got mine in and then there are the rewards if this build helped you take down superior consider leaving a like and share with other players who might be having a harder time beating it in game as always leave a comment with your best solo builds and if you enjoyed this content and want to see similar updates in future consider hitting the subscribe button and turning on notifications thanks so much for tuning in friends good luck with superior until next time take care and bye bye